Hello everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for joining me. So today I'm excited to be a part of the Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop. The Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop is a celebration of card making video tutorials created by a group of talented crafters of all different styles and levels. We are coming together to give our viewers a chance to discover other amazing card makers and help reach monetization goals. All you have to do is watch, like the video, consider subscribing and click the link in the video description box below to hop to the next video. Let yourself be inspired. Don't forget to comment because there are tons of prizes to give away. I myself am donating a 25 US dollar scrapbook.com voucher. The more videos you comment on, the better your chances are. Comments are due by June the 5th and prizes will be drawn on June the 10th and announced on Justine's blog and her YouTube channel which I shall link below. We have some great sponsors sponsoring this video hop and they are pictured here. So let's get started on the card that I will be doing for the video hop. I decided to keep things fairly simple and make a birthday card using a turnabout stamp. This is what the card looks like finished and I was very happy with the way this came out, very bright and colourful. From Concord and Ninth I'm using this flower turnabout stamp set and this is one of my favourite turnabout sets. I do like the background it creates and it has some lovely sentiments in the set as well. To create the rectangles I'll be cutting on my card today, I'm using from my favourite things, the A2 Stitched Rectangle Stack Set number 2 Dynamics. There will be links in the description box below for these products. Now I've gone ahead here and I've set this stamp up in my MISTI and the colours I'm using to stamp this stamp out are from the Distress Oxide Ink Range, Wilted Violet, Picked Raspberry, Carved Pumpkin and Mustard Seed. Concord and Ninth do have on their website comprehensive instructions on how to set these turnabout stamps up in your stamp positioning tool. I'm using a MISTI but you could use whatever stamping tool that you have. They also have on their website turnabout jigs and alignment aids for all the turnabout stamps and this assists in setting them up in your stamp positioning tools and also for the ease of using them. So you can see here I'm moving on to my third colour, Carved Pumpkin. I'm stamping them out. And don't forget to rotate. Ask me how I know. And just getting the last colour on. And I noticed when I was doing this, I wasn't really sure if I was loving this colour combination. It's a little bit too bright for me and it, um, these are colours I would not normally put together. But I persevered and I took it out of the misty and I decided to stamp the leaves by hand. The colour I'm using for the leaves is Mowed Lawn from the Distress Oxide Ink Range. And once I start putting the green on here, I'm much happier with how this is all coming together. So I'm just positioning these leaves. And this is something I do struggle with is backgrounds. So I always like that the turnabout stamps create that instant background. So I'm taking my time here, making sure that I'm getting these leaves in the right position and they look balanced. So I move on here and I'm using the smaller double leaf from that set and I'm stamping that around, trying to keep it balanced. And the green really does give these colours that little punch that it needs because I was not really happy with the way it looked originally, but the green's just what it needs. Also in this stamp set, there are some layering pieces that go on the flowers and I was considering using them but then I decide not to and I move on. Using the stitched rectangle set from MFT, I use the largest one from the set which measures four by five and a quarter and that will layer nicely onto an A2 size card. So I'm just taping that down after I decide where I'm going to cut it. So I'm just releasing the card here from the die and cleaning it up a bit from all those bits that seem to be on after your die cut. And I've got a smaller rectangle here and I'm just positioning that in the middle. And I know you think I'm crazy, I've just stamped all this and now I'm cutting it up. So I've die cut that out as well. But I was inspired by a video that I watched on the My Favourite Things channel that Stephanie did a while back now on spotlight stamping. So I was sort of going with that for this card. So I'm just positioning it all here making sure that I'm happy with how it's all going to look in the end. And I need a layering piece for that smaller rectangle so I get that done. 
and I'm going to pop that rectangle up in the middle. So it's time now to glue all this down, so I'm just using my Tombow Mono Adhesive Glue. And the beauty of using glue is that you get that wriggle room to make sure that it's straight. So I'm just taking care here to line it up and press it down. With the other rectangle piece I'm applying glue and I'm going to stick that down to its layering piece. And then I'm going to put foam tape on the back of that rectangle. And the release tape on the back of black foam tape is very tricky to remove. So I'm just lining that rectangle up positioned how I'd like it. Making sure that it's straight and in line before I press it down. And I'm liking the dimension that the black foam tape gives. From Kaiser Craft from the DIY Cuts range I'm using the Birthday Wishes sentiment. I've cut the shadow from black and the sentiment from white. I've cut it three times and I'm going to stack them on top of each other and glue them together for some added dimension. So it's time now to stick all this together and I'm going to glue the sentiment to the shadow using Tombow Mono Adhesive Glue. I could have actually die cut these sentiments from stick it adhesive backed onto the back of the white cardstock but I didn't, didn't think of it at the time and so I just ended up using glue. But that is a good way to stack die cuts on top of each other. So I'm just applying some glue here to the back of the sentiment and I'm going to stick that down in place. I thought about popping it up on foam tape but I thought there's probably enough dimension on this already. And I'll stick it down in place onto that rectangle. And I'm super happy with how this is looking. So I decided to decorate with some rhinestones and various sizes in the centre of all those flowers. And it's such a bright cheerful card to give to somebody on their birthday. And I just love how this turned out. So that's this card finished for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching and that this card gives you some inspiration. Don't forget to like and comment so that you can be in the running for the prizes on offer for the hop. And the next person on the video hop is linked below in the description box and it is the first link. Thanks very much to Justine for organising this fantastic event. I've had so much fun today. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really love that too. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye for now.